Hello, this is Robert Malikian. I'm continuing installing Oracle Rack 10G Release 2 on a Linux environment. Uh, yesterday I couldn't continue anymore as I went to Long Beach Grand Prix. And by the time I came back, I see I had some issue with uh, my machine. So I had to reboot it. Hence, we are on the login screen. It seems there is some uh, hard disk problem I have. My screen gets stuck and that sort of things. Um, it's a fairly new machine. It's possible during transport something has happened to the hard disk. Um, but uh, reboot and check this didn't report to any sort of issues. So I'm hoping that it has cleared that. But if it's not, then we'll do something. And let's do root back in as root. And get back to where we were. Um, let's go to Oracle Base documentation. I think I can't remember where I was. Previous section, that's good one. Take me straight there. the kernel parameters uh, it must be somewhere around here I can't remember doing the check the So we are there. Oh, we need to put we go to Mopro and check timer is quite let's go to the end of the file. For now, I will copy and paste with these parameters. This particular hang check checks when the rack is up, checks the other node, and if there's any problem, either timing or it can't reach it, it automatically reboots the server to bring it up to scratch. So if you're getting some um, Unexplainable, unexplainable, if that is the right word to use, uh, reboots on some of the units. If you have a rack machine, this could explain it. You could tune the timer in the period, uh, the margins, and the ticks to get it. Uh, to work in a proper way. Okay, now we are. Most of the settings are done. Let's start creating the groups. Groups are created. So let's create Oracle user and. Change password. Um, let's create a directories. It will be used later on. Uh, okay, we need to. 
to create a etc equivalence file for remote login and we need to get to be able to fr freely travel across um, okay. let's log in as Oracle Basically, is um, environmental variables. That's if you don't have a system, so these environment variables are not. But if you or have got an existing environment variable, then you could use your own. I don't have any in this, which is brand new installed. So I'm going to use that. Um, we need to bring the reinvert rules. Um, how do I get that screen? In here, there is Once is up. I suppose we never can communicate a little bit bit better with um, the host OS and host hardware. steps we need to take before I would be able to get the uh, Oracle cluster software over. Okay, uh, so we have installed it. We need to run the config. Exit from Oracle. Um, option twelve. Okay, this is a good place to stop now. I will come back in the next session and continue the install. This is Robert Malikian installing Oracle Rack, Oracle Rack 10G Release 2 on a Linux environment. See you in a bit. Bye.